good to see you guys again. To this video, I'm gonna go over how the coronavirus epidemic will, will change and affect our education, how it's gonna affect careers, and how it's gonna change the whole business atmosphere. We see a lot of the changes already happening in education and in some people's careers and also in business overall. But I just want to give you guys some predictions that I think is going to happen. I'm not going to go out and to say too many crazy things about it. I'm just going to go over the things that I'm already seeing. Welcome to Simple Chew. I'm your host, Hank. I've been in accounting for 10 years. I also run a, a resale business on the side for the past five years. If you've been following me for a while, thank you very much. It will help me a lot if you like the video. Also, if you're new, welcome. Suggest you to subscribe and also hit the bell so you get notifications for all the videos I post. I usually post every Mondays and Fridays. I talk about usually about investment education, also resale education, and also accounting practices. I made a new series of tax law on my playlist. It's a new play playlist that I developed. Also, I wrote an ebook that you can find in www.simplechute.com. It's free for you guys. If you want to learn about investment 101, I, I break it down really easy for you. Uh, five easy steps. Um, so just to go, go and check it out. I think education is really interesting. Uh, the way it change. I think it, education, especially higher uh, higher education, especially in college, has changed a lot since I when I started. I think um, a lot of uh, higher education has hybrid into online. Some classes online, some classes in class. I think when I was in college, I only took in school classes where I had to sit down and see a professor or be a bunch of students. And I think it was interesting to be in that environment, even though it was kind of old school, it was um, something that it, 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 it was been done for centuries. And it was important because you learn skills that were needed in the real life. I think work like teamwork, obviously that you have to work with somebody um, hand in hand where you have to know to, to learn cues of other people, how expressions and how to handle people face to face. And I think that with technology nowadays, it's something that is changing with kids where they're more on their phone, social media, people are really far apart. So it made sense that education was moving, higher education specifically, it was moving to online classes, uh, less uh, space that the school needed to uh, have uh, students in. I think. Uh, professors could have more students in each class because some classes were where this professor just made a video like this like in YouTube and then he would post them and then he put that assignment so he can teach a bunch of students at once I think it was cost efficient for everybody and you can do your work anytime you want it it wasn't like a specific time that you had to be in class or whatever but it was interesting to see that I think this school will also is gonna go online and it's gonna be super interesting to see how kids will find ways to trick the teachers to do I think I've seen a couple of videos already where people would uh, record themselves and, and create a loop video of them pretending to be online because they need to use their webcam to show the teacher they're online also it's gonna be interesting how our uh, kids is gonna be cheating on tests I think uh, uh, we are not not naive we know all know that kids and even when, when you come up, become an adult and you go to college and after college uh, a lot of people cheat and there's gonna be a lot of cheating and it's gonna be interesting to see how technology is gonna evolve to to catch cheaters even though when I was in college uh, there was a lot of cheating and I think it was still hard for teachers and, and the school system to catch cheaters and it's gonna be interesting it's gonna make it easier uh, now that people are gonna be online or it's gonna be making it harder are people gonna it's gonna be interesting how people are gonna work on the self-development and self-discipline and self-administration because they have to now, they don't have somebody administrating themselves. I think it's gonna be interesting going for the future and now that we talk about career, it's gonna be really interesting to see how everything is gonna match up. I think in careers, um, now that if kids start to learn things online and then they go to careers, we know a lot of people are working from home nowadays and it's gonna be similar than when people were, if, if they get if kids stick with learning online and now they move to working, working online, working from home, it's gonna be interesting to see the new uh, dynamic of everything, how it's gonna work, how are people gonna figure out how to work in teams, how people are gonna be working uh, in, 
interpersonal relationships. It's, it's going to be interesting how dating is going to work because now a lot of the dating is online. And I think that it's, it's going to be interesting how that's going to change because I think kids are going to be learning new, th new skills that people who went to regular college don't know. Even though I'm in the middle where I did take some online classes. But we can also see that IT departments are telling it right now. They are needed so much and so essential that every company I think is gonna be reinforcing their IT that I, think, I, I believe they're gonna be hiring more people and I think they're gonna be hiring more a specific type of IT where it's gonna be working on servers and have to, even though I don't know a lot about IT, but I, I think it's gonna, they're gonna focus more on how to keep people uh, working from home, how to keep uh, people's personal computers working, how they're gonna help you online, uh, how the remote, when you let your IT personnel get remote access to your computer and they can see your personal things in your computer, it's gonna be interesting to see how the privacy is gonna work. Uh, you know, but I know that a lot of um, IT people are really responsible with uh, technology, but we'll see if companies might be tracking uh, what's going on in your personal computer to see if uh, you're following guidelines. And it's also gonna be interesting to see if you are like a, like a higher um, executive or somebody who has a lot of confidential things or, or anything that could, could really ruin the, the business because you might have a recipe that you can't expose um, to the public and now you're working from home there's a lot of uh, things that move in parts maybe hackers could hack your computer your personal computer and get through the online I, these are things I don't know and are things that I, I'm really interested on and now I, Hopefully I will get answers as, as, as time goes to see how all this uh, privacy and protection is going to happen to protect businesses, protect people's uh, personal things. So it's just things that uh, it just fascinates me right now. And uh, hopefully you guys can give me the answers. But uh, with this coronavirus, I think that a lot, some jobs or some careers are going to be ruined. I think that we can see the athletes and uh, people who do acting, um, they, they've been hit really hard. You, you know they're not essential. People complain and bitch that, oh, there's no sports. And, and I'm a sports lover, I love sports. I, I love my football. But the thing is that we know they're not essential and yet they get paid like a gazillion dollars. I think the other jobs that is gonna also get affected are jobs where you serve people food or you, you're serving people. Also uh, retail kind of workers where the, the company or the, or the type of, of business is like closing or, or books, selling books, stuff like that. Those kind of businesses might uh, get a big hit because Amazon is literally killing those type of businesses. The mall environment is something that is slowly gonna eliminate. We can see Sears already leaving. Macy's is, is in trouble. And all, a lot of bunch of GNC is also in trouble. Those, those are mostly mall oriented type of businesses where they their businesses come from people who go to the mall i think there's still a lot of um old folks like me that still go to the mall and buy and purchase all things in the mall but i know that the, the pain and the butt that it is to go to the mall and check things and then you you like something and it they don't have it and at the end of the day they still just suggest you to, to to buy online so i get it that people prefer to go to to do online also now with the pandemic it's People don't want to get sick. They don't want to be outside. They don't want to be in huge crowds in closed places. So the malls might get, get hit even worse. Uh, I went to the mall a couple of days ago. Uh, I think through the week and the weekends actually, I went to the mall and it was pretty much empty. I went in and I saw some sales that I couldn't find out online. So that's, that was interesting. Uh, I don't know if the um, malls and stores are trying to lure more people in by with sales and stuff so i bought some things that couldn't find online because i'm a huge um, check online when i'm in the stores and i found some sales that was interesting to see that they weren't online so there's something that I have to think about when i moving to the business side i think business that says will eventually have to change uh drastically i think a lot of businesses already have started changing i think uh especially businesses who sell things uh things that you can't things that are not food eventually essentially or at least food that has to be prepared um hot and ready to to eat or something like that i think like if you sell like popcorn i think that type of business you can sell online 
and I think services, the things you, you, you do for, like you do doing a service that definitely could be do, done online. I think a lot of people will, a lot of businesses will have to learn how to manage an uh, online uh, presence and I think they have to, and they don't, can't rely on Amazon. I think a lot of businesses have, has rely on Amazon where they can put their products there and Amazon will do the selling. I think that's what killed Toys R Us and I think a lot of businesses um, we'll learn from that mistake that Toys R Us may wear they put all their toys and their and their items to be sold at Amazon. Amazon will take a cut. Eventually, Toys R Us went out of business. I think the restaurant business will also will have to refo refocus and drastically change the way of they doing business. I think the eating in type of business is gonna be reduced by a lot, especially now with this coronavirus. We know that. A lot of people not eating in anymore to, in restaurants and I think with the, this whole guidelines and things it just makes it really a pain in the butt to go eat inside a restaurant so I think uh, there's an opportunity for restaurants now who somebody who is a good cook or is a good chef or has an idea that they want to open a, a, a restaurant business they can maybe they, they don't need a lot of space now maybe they only need the kitchen and they can just focus on hiring delivery people to deliver their food or join them like a Uber Eats or uh, a Grubhub. So they have that, that opportunity to still be in the, in the restaurant business, but they don't have to serve people. And I think it, it could be a, a great opportunity for people who they don't have a lot of capital to start it. And now they have this opportunity with coronavirus where people have the, their mentality changed, their mindset changed. They don't want some, a lot of people don't want to eat. I was a big uh, person who liked to go eat. Uh, I, go out to the restaurants and eat out and now with this whole thing I, I don't really have the desire to go out anymore um, I can see how much money I was spending and now I can see how much money I'm saving not only by cooking in but also just ordering in I just order just I go to the restaurant pick it up and then I enjoy the same food I, I, I go to this restaurant in Chelsea Massachusetts where I love to eat in called Foramos I love that it's, it's just like a steak bar, steak tips kind of uh, restaurant. And I love going there and eat in because the food just comes in, the waiters are amazing, it, the whole experience feels amazing. But after the Quran rice, I still wanted their food and then I order it from the pickup uh, avenue. Also, I had, had, had it delivered, but it's just it's still amazing food. I, I, I didn't realize that even though I like the experience of going to the restaurant, I was really going for the food and now that I can enjoy at home and it's the same food, hey, now I don't have to spend that, that extra 50, 60 dollars that I was spending on drinks. So, so some restaurants is gonna be hurting financially because now people are not gonna go in, the people are not gonna be tipping, people are not gonna be drinking. I think the drinking is the, the, the most profitable for restaurants where they, they can charge 400 to 500% more. So they're gonna have a loss in that, but they might have a, an increase in sales because people are gonna be delivering more, uh, they can, provide uh, drivers with people gonna be tipping or they can charge for for delivery how the restaurant business is gonna survive how are they gonna evolve I think that a lot of some of the restaurants they're gonna either create a new wave or they're gonna ride this new wave that's going on right now or it's, a lot of them are probably gonna get crashed by the wave but I'm, I'm just hoping that they find a way in the end I'm, I'm just really excited to see what this pandemic is gonna do to businesses how what kind of businesses it is gonna come out out of it what business but what businesses is gonna get crushed i think that's also important to to know and be aware if, especially if you're an investor you want to know this thing also you want to see what's been working what's cooking what kind of businesses are cooking thank you guys for watching hopefully some of my predictions hopefully uh, just talking about things that change the, the whole corona pandemic that has changed uh, it's gonna make it a better economy. It's gonna make it a better, stronger economy for us. And all hopefully that a lot of people are gonna be learning new skills. People are gonna go into new careers. Even though some of them are gonna be lost, I think people are gonna always uh, evolve and change and, and for the better. And it's gonna be really exciting to see how they do it. And I'm just waiting to see where this all goes. Also, businesses is definitely gonna be changing. The business environment already has changed, and, and people have to. Be, we focus, I think, on businesses. As an investor, you want to see pe uh, their people's businesses evolve, especially if you're investing actively in them. You want to see them evolve and, and be really competitive, especially in a, now that we're super global, and you just want to see them grow. 
and hopefully make more profit. And it's gonna be interesting to see what comes out and hopefully every, I know that everything's gonna work out. Always remember guys to keep it simple.